Shifting your vibe, create an abundance mindset. I am so excited about this topic and that you are here with me today to discuss this because this is really the glue for success, for a life, a life that, that breeds success. This is the glue for a healthy mindset. This is just, this is it. This is it. If you've been searching for the answer for how you can get past the things that are holding you back or how you can just be happy with what you have while focusing on, on attracting more, this is it. This is where so many people go wrong. You've got to develop an abundance mindset. So I'm going to go through several points. I think I've got five uh, for you today. Um, for you to begin to develop that abundance mindset just one day at a time. It's not going to be a whole bunch of changes that I say change everything about your lifestyle today. Just one day at a time, little tiny tweaks. And let's just say that you can improve 1% every day and you dedicate the next 365 days to this. You'll be 365% better in a year. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me, I'm in. Okay, if you're not a subscriber here yet, click that subscribe button and the bell and I'll be right back with those few points to help you create an abundance mindset so that you can have a smile on your face and you can feel fulfillment and be happy and have lower stress and a better life. I'll be right back. Guild Coaching, more success, less stress. Have you ever been around somebody who's talking about what they wish would not happen in the future? Like, um, I have to go to this party this weekend and I sure hope this guy's not there. Or, um, oh wow, I hope it doesn't rain for the big game coming up or something like that. And you're like, what? Why would you speak into existence the negative thing that you don't want to happen that will make your experience be less happy than otherwise like it doesn't make sense to me but people talk like this y'all this is this is the way people talk this is how the world talks but not you not anymore if that's where you have been we are about to wipe the slate clean we're going to shift your vibe we're going to shift the way you think we're going to shift the way that you speak so that you can can merge and shift into an abundance mindset so why do you want an abundance mindset because you're either living in a mindset of abundance or scarcity. Scarcity. Do you want that? No, nobody wants that. That is why. <laughs> that That's basically, that's why. Because you're either living in abundance or you're living in scarcity. So we're gonna go through, let's see, I've got my notes right here. Six, I said five. There's six points um, that I've written down in my notes for you today. So get your pen and paper ready. I always have my pen right here in my paper, um, ready just in case there's something that pops into my mind when I'm talking to you um, for me to either share today or in another video like this for you. All right, first of all, you have to recognize the power of your thoughts. Number one, recognize the power of your thoughts. Your thoughts create your vibration. So let's just go back to those weird people who like to say, oh gee, I hope it doesn't rain for the big game this weekend. That's a negative thought. They're not thinking of sunshine and happy weather. They're thinking of a storm. Their thoughts are powerful. That takes them to a lower vibe. So recognize that your thoughts have power. One of the reasons that I practice mindfulness every single day is because that practice of observing self, of slowing down, observing self and surroundings, helps me to recognize and see one at a time different thoughts that come into my head. And no matter how much I practice mindfulness, occasionally a thought that's not so awesome pops into my head and I'm able to go, you right there. And do you know what I do? I actually visualize myself um, popping it like a balloon. I, I visualize the negative thought like a balloon and I go and it explodes and I'm like, that thought's gone. Like literally I do that and I, I do have a lot of visualization practices during mindfulness and meditation and that's just one of them but recognize the power of your thoughts and mindfulness will help you build the skill of being able to recognize it number two i say this all the time practice gratitude train yourself to have the first thought of your day be gratitude i um, have read recommendations that you should keep a gratitude journal which i do 
I recommend you program that first thought toward gratitude because it predisposes your mind to the positive for the whole day. And then you take your pen in your gratitude journal and you write that one thought down. I saw a recommendation earlier today. You need to write down 10 things that you're grateful for. Frankly, I think that's too much pressure. One is good. One is enough. Two is even better. Three is three times as good as one. See what I'm saying? Like, don't put the number 10 on yourself, like for a lot of pressure, just practice gratitude. I'm so happy and grateful that I have, um, a whole day in front of me to achieve whatever I'm going to achieve. I can't wait to see what miracles happen. This morning, my first thought of gratitude was, oh, I'm so happy and grateful that I had such a restful night's sleep that I woke up without an alarm. I woke up about 15 minutes before my alarm was going to go off and I felt awesome. I felt so good. So that was my first thought. I practice gratitude. When you don't practice gratitude, you're going to be looking around and you're going to be seeing what you don't have. When you look at what you have, it becomes more. When you look at what you don't have, you're living in a lack mindset. So practice gratitude because it'll shift the scales toward a more positive vibe and the abundance mindset. Okay, number three on my notes, that's right behind my camera, cultivate and share your purpose and your passion. If you don't know what your purpose is, you need to call me. You need to check the description of this video for some tools that we have down there, some free tools that we have for you. And you also need to check for the link to schedule an appointment with me because um, we need to talk about it. We've got a pretty easy process for us to hone in, not only on your core values, but your mission, your vision, your purpose, and come up with a life plan for you. Very simple and fun um, working directly with me and the other coaches that we have. Cultivate that, cultivate that passion, cultivate that purpose and share it with other people. If you say, oh, well, my friends and my family will think that I'm weird if I start talking about this. Find new friends, um, find other people, find people who will, who, who it will resonate with so that they can celebrate you. Okay. It's, it's part of, part of what we do also at Guild is we have a group of people that, that are growing together and they're sharing in each other's accomplishments and they're celebrating each other. And it's super special. It's why I have my accountability group and my, my interactive networking groups is because I found people who I have things in common with and we can share and propel each other. So your friends and your family might not be those people. Um, don't hide it from them, but you might just not want to like parade it right in front of them, but do find your tribe and then share it with your tribe early and often. <laughs> um, number four, this goes back to recognizing the power of thoughts and practicing gratitude. Choose your words wisely. Start to recognize the type of words that you're using when you converse with other people. Are you using those negative words? Um, what types of thoughts are you conveying? And then start to examine the thoughts that you have when you're by yourself. Oh, I wish this wouldn't happen. Oh, I only have this much time. Instead of, okay, I have five minutes. Let me do the most that I can with it. Oh, I only have five minutes. You know, how... What words are sneaking in there in your thoughts and then reprogram them. We literally have a full playlist here on Guild Coaching's YouTube channel full of positive affirmations, full of meditations, mindfulness sessions, healing sessions, things like that so that you have an entire library to go to to help reprogram your mind for positive things. Okay, number five. Am I on five? Yep, I'm on five. You need to have, you either have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. I've done a couple of videos on here, mentioned growth, growth versus fixed. A fixed mindset says I was born with these talents and that's what I got. Too bad, so sad. I can't ever do anything better than these talents. That's wrong. You were born with talents and you can cultivate them and you can explore them and you can grow them. And that's what a growth mindset is. So convince yourself that the talents that you have are just like seeds. So every single talent that you have is just like a little seed. And if you don't plant it in the soil and give it water and sunlight and seed food, whatever else that little seed needs, it's going to just be that seed. 
But if you put it in the soil and you cultivate it and you spend time focusing on helping it grow, it does grow and it does change and it can turn in from a little tiny acorn into a mighty oak tree. It can and it will, but you gotta plant it first and you've gotta cultivate it. All right, this last one might be hard for some of you. Um, I know it's challenging for all of us uh, who know a lot and you know a lot of stuff. You know a lot about a lot, probably, uh, like I do. So think like a beginner. It's always really fun to watch babies, baby anything, baby animals, baby people, discover things. There's this really cute video of a cat that my daughter keeps sending me in private messages on Instagram. We send each other animal videos all the time. It's pretty much almost the only thing that I look at on social media is cute animal videos because it raises my serotonin level and that feels good. Um, but she keeps sending me back this, this cute video of a kitten and the kitten's like looking at his paws. And then he realizes that he has another one. And then when the fourth one comes up, he's like, oh, and like you can see this look of surprise on this cute little kitten's face. I love watching baby anything discover anything because it's so pure and fresh. So when you're not a baby anything anymore, think like a beginner. How would I think if I wasn't exposed to this yet? How would I think if um, I had never seen this before? I love uh, thinking like a beginner when I take a staycation in my own town. I'm like, what would I do if I had never been here before? And then I'll go and I'll explore something with new eyes and it gives me a new, deeper appreciation for the town I call home. And most people, I believe, take don't take advantage of the beauty that's right in their own backyard because they're too busy ignoring it because it's the same thing that they see every day. All right. That is what I had for you today. I really, really, really want you to have an abundance mindset. If you start to do these things, if you if you do practice mindfulness and you, you recognize the power of your thought and you practice gratitude and you cultivate your passion, you share it with people and you're looking at what words you use and you're making sure that you're feeding your mind with positive affirmations and things to shift those words to the positive, you're cultivating your talents so that you can grow them and you're exploring things with a beginner's mindset abundance is all around you and poof before you know it the lack mindset that most of us have been raised believing vanishes and there's abundance everywhere if this has been of help to you give me a thumbs up and if you didn't already please subscribe here so that we know that you love us because we love you back Subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications the next time we download a video like this to help you live a more fulfilling, abundant life. See you soon.